Hi, in this video, we're going to be learning about two of the new functions in Microsoft Office 365. And we are going to be learning about how to use optional arguments in Lambda function. And I'll also teach you a little bit with the advanced formula editor in Microsoft Office 365. So there's a lot of things to learn in this video. So stay tuned. So what we're going to learn first is about using by call and by row function in Office 365. Why do we need this function? What does it do? When you're working with dynamic array, sometimes you have to work on a matrix and you may want to do an operation on each of the individual columns of the matrix or on individual rows. Certain functions can handle it very well, but certain functions cannot. Now, therefore, in order to be able to dice your matrix into pieces, that is where by row and by call function can come into picture. Let me directly jump into this example and show you what we have here. So I've got a table here in which I have the inputs of sales in Indian rupee for three products. And I have another table which gives me an input of the exchange rates. Now using dynamic array with one formula, I have obtained a matrix here that gives me sales of the three different products in three different currencies. Now the next thing I would naturally want to do is to get total sales in each of the currency, which means I have to sum up each of the columns. Now this is entirely one single array. Now what you may want to do is you may want to use a sum function. But the problem is when I use a sum function and select the matrix, sum function is going to aggregate all the nine numbers and is going to give me one output. I don't want this. I want column wise total. Now in that case, can't I simply use a sum function and sum up each of the columns individually? You can, but the problem is that then we lose the advantage of dynamic array. So the way this particular file is built is that when you add an extra currency, let me add this SGD. So when you add an extra currency, you will see our table automatically expands. But what we notice is that the summation did not expand. So summation was only for three columns. Now we expect somebody to copy and paste this. It may look like not too much of work, but when you expect your file to be dynamic, then telling somebody that you have to go and copy paste a bunch of cells alone is pretty risky. It has a lot of operational risk. And that's where we're going to take advantage of the by call function here. So now how am I going to do this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the by call function. So by call, and I'm going to refer to this matrix here. What the by call function is going to do is it is going to dice every single column of this matrix. By dicing, I'm talking about splitting each column separately. Now, after it dices, we have to specify what needs to be done with each of these dice. Now, this has to be specified using Lambda. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type Lambda. Now, I have to refer to each of the dice with some name. I can give any name. So let me call it as A, comma. So here the A represents every individual column of this particular matrix. The by call function dices it into columns and that's what the A refers here. And then I'm going to say what you have to do with each of the column is sum it up. So I'm closing the lambda function. First I close the sum function, then I'm closing the lambda. Then I'm going to close the by call function, press enter. You notice here our single formula automatically gave answer for all the four columns. So tomorrow, if I were to delete or remove any of these columns, you will see things automatically getting added. Let me just add one more currency to see how it works. AED, I'm adding one more currency here. So you notice how our total automatically expanded. So by call function we saw helped us dice an array into different columns and then do operation on each of the column and produce a dynamic array. Now let's learn by row function. A by row function does almost very similar to what by call does except that instead of dicing by column, it dices by row. So let me show that to you with this example I had on top. A very similar setup except that it's now transposed. I have currencies top to bottom and I have products left to right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get summation of each of the rows. So equals by row and I'm going to select this matrix, which is a dynamic array D3 hash, comma, lambda, A, comma, sum A. So as you can see here, it's very similar to what we did earlier. Only difference is instead of by call, I'm using by row. 
So by row slices or rather dices my matrix by each rows. So press enter and I've got the answer. Now we learn to work with by row and by column but isn't it a very lengthy function to try? I mean just to get a summation if you have to write such a long function it's a little too much isn't it? So what can we do here? And here is where the smarter way of working comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom function using lambda which will call this by row function. Let's see how it's done. So what I'm going to do is for now let me type it here in a cell and then we'll copy paste it. So I'm going to type lambda and let me give a variable name here rng. So this here indicates that my user will give a range as an input and what are we supposed to do? By row take that range. So instead of specifying that range manually here I'm saying you know I'm using a lambda function and inside the lambda I'm using the by row function comma and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lambda again. So essentially what I'm doing is the same by row function which we use on the top I am putting the same by row function but instead of specifying the range I am putting this inside another lambda function a comma sum of a so I am closing the sum function then the lambda function then the by row function then the outer lambda function now a lambda function is not going to run as it is we are going to get a calc error so let me copy this I'm going to save this as a custom function so for that I have to go to formulas define names or a name manager and I'm going to click add so let me call this a name as sum row equals let me copy and paste this lambda command that I gave here so what I've essentially done is I've just copy pasted this lambda function that I typed here so lambda range the user is going to give a range by row dice it into dice those ranges into rows and sum them sum each of those rows that's exactly what we have given here as command so now let's use this so instead of a lengthy by row function what i'm going to do is i'm going to say equal sum row select this array close it and we've got the answer now i'll take it through one more smarter things to do because if you want to implement this with lambda you're going to have a sum row function and you also have to have another sum column function rather what i would like to do is have one function where let the user specify whether you want to sum by row or column and then it's going to give the answer for this i'm going to combine lambda with switch function and i'm going to use the advanced editor tool here the advanced formula editor tool is going to be available in my home tab so I'll go to home, click on advanced formula editor. It's a new add-in. If you have not installed it, you can explore it from the get add-in section in your insert menu. You can search for advanced formula editor. So let me now try this advanced formula editor here. So I'm going to add a function here. This function, I'm going to call it as sum array. So this has to handle both column and row. And how am I going to do that? So equals, let me expand this advanced formula editor button. So equals lambda, open the bracket and range. One difference is last time we knew we wanted to sum it by row. So I just said take the range and do a by row function, apply a dice it by row. Here I am going to get that from the end user as an option. And my idea is this. If the end user says zero, I want to sum up by columns. If the end user puts one, I want to sum it up by rows. If the end user does not give the second parameter, I want to let it be an optional parameter. If the end user does not give the second parameter, that means I'm going to sum it by column. So I'm. So how do you give an optional parameter in Excel, in Lambda? You close it within square bracket. So you notice here I've typed Lambda range and the option variable is put within square brackets. That means it is optional. So put a comma now. You know, the beauty of this advanced editor is I can use the tab buttons to align it. Things are much neater here. So I'm going to now say, okay, the user is going to give you a range 
and it's going to specify an option. So now I'm going to use a switch command. You could also use if function. If you don't know switch, you could use a if function. Switch is nicer here. So switch option. So that means we are ex evaluating this expression option. Now what a switch function does is based on the value of option, I can tell what needs to be done. So if the option is one, or rather zero, if it is zero, what do I want? I want by call, take the range. Keep in mind this spelling for range should be exactly same as what name you have used in the top lambda. So I'm going to say by range, by column range. So which means dice that range by columns. And inside that I'm going to type lambda of a comma sum a. This is precisely what we did earlier. So let's go to the sum function, then the lambda, then the by call. Now I'm going to next specify what if it's one. If it is one, then do a by row, open the bracket, range RNG, that's the same spelling. Spelling has to be correct here once again. Lambda, open the bracket, A comma sum. Now just to let you know, in this case, I, I need not have put A, I could have put B because keep in mind, the by call is a different lambda. The by row is a different lambda. Lambda b comma sum of b. So now sum function is closed. Lambda is closed. And the by row is closed. So next what I have to do is close the switch function, which is already closed. And let's close the lambda function. This is also closed. Excel is indicating some error here. Oh, I missed a comma. So that is why it's this advanced form letter is hinting at an error. You know, that's the beauty of this. If you were directly typing these lambda inside a cell, you wouldn't be able to figure out these syntax errors. Here it could point, it pointed out the error to me and I could fix it. So let me click add. So we've created the summary function, but it is not available in the names yet. So you've typed it, but the sum array is not available here. So what you're supposed to do is, Click on the synchronize button. You see this folder with a refresh button. Click on that. Once you click on that, it synchronizes, which means the sum array will now be available as a user defined function. Let me click OK. And let's see this. Now let's see this working here. I'm going to call both of them using the same function. So equals sum array d3 hash. This time I wanted by row. So comma one. So I've got summation by rows. In the other setup that I have here, which is a horizontal setup, I want the summation by column. So I'm going to put some array. Select the array. I can type comma zero. But since it is optional, since we mentioned it as optional, even if we don't give, it's automatically going to give us answer by column. So these two functions by row and by column makes our life very easy when you're working with dynamic array, especially when you generate a matrix. It makes our life a lot easier uh, because earlier I had to use complex matrix multiplication if I had to get average by column or summation by column. But this by row and by column functions makes it much easier for us. Hope you learned something useful today. I'll be coming up with more videos on Lambda function. If you want to stay ahead of the curve, do subscribe to this channel. And also check out our training programs. We do come up with a lot of training programs with latest cutting edge techniques with dynamic arrays and lambdas. So do visit our website www.perfectusacademy.com and subscribe to our newsletters and blogs. Subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. Uh, thank you very much and take care and see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.